These halls are fun and scary at the same time. Pictures, this was a big pile of figs and all I could see was the top. The seller did not, you know, spread the pile out. They didn't take multiple pictures. So this is like, this is a mystery haul right here. A pound and a half, about, maybe a little bit more, $240. So less than $2 a fig on this. So excited. What's up, everybody? My name is Aaron. I'm the Brick Scavenger. And uh, if I can get this open, we're going to do a little treasure hunting here for some Lego minifigures. While I'm struggling, a quick thank you to everybody who has placed order. My BrickLink store has just been going crazy the last couple of weeks. I cannot thank you guys enough. If you have placed an order in my store, it really, really helps. Wow, this is a lot. We're going to have to split this into two. Uh, it really helps the channel so much when you guys are supporting me, and I really appreciate it. Can't thank you enough. Um, I just, you know, it's so much fun doing this, and the fact that it supports the Lego habit makes it even more fun. I have gotten to place some really cool orders for my Islanders display recently with some of the funds that have been generated from this. So just a heartfelt thank you from me to you. Uh, if you're watching the channel, I really appreciate you as well. But if, you're, if you've placed a BrickLink order, uh, it just means a lot. So thank you so much. All right, so we're going to split this into part one and part two. Uh, I like to keep these videos as sort of digestibly you know, time responsible as possible. That was a weird sentence, but whatever. So um, this is going to be a little less than a pound of minifigs here for part one. And we're going to say it was 240. So we're going to say 120 bucks, 120 bucks for what you see in front of you. And this is really treasure hunting because I could not see uh, a lot of this. So here we go. If you guys are interested in anything you see here, I sell mostly on BrickLink. My link to my store description is in the description. Uh, but I also sell a little bit on eBay and a little bit on whatnot as well. So feel free to come say hi on any of those. Look at this. Here's a really good start. Whoa. How about a couple of these Iron Legions kicking us off? Whoa. The question is, look, do you see the little hint of orange under there? The question is, did we get the heads? Because if we got the heads, this is a super score. The heads look on first glance like they are trans orange plain but they're not they have oh this one has it can you guys see that the little bit of print on there let's go that's a good start right there uh that one looks like it's dynamite excellent how about this one i don't see any cracks you know what i've learned though uh i don't know where my thing went i already lost it but if you guys haven't seen my upgraded BrickLink YouTube video, I have purchased some of these, which is a uh, magnifying glass with a light. And so now, like, I examine things before I put them in BrickLink under bright light with a magnifying glass. And what I've learned is that some cracks are so hard to see, like just so hard to see. And so now as I'm going through this with you guys, I, I'm looking at them without the magnifying glass. I'm like, I can't see anything. I'm so used to the magnifying glass now. Um, but this one does not appear to be cracked based on my naked eye. Does it have the correct head? Let's see. Yes, it does. Sweet. Remember, we paid 120 for this whole haul, and we are already off to a great start with two Iron Legions. Let's go. How about one of the newer horses? These are so pretty. The, uh, the face prints on these are awesome. It's got a dark brown saddle, both clips intact. Holy smokes, we're off to a good start here. Wow. Again, this was mostly a blind haul. It was like a big pile of Lego, and there was like one picture straight down on the very top of it. That was all I could see. How about a little Krang from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? That one's in high demand. Not crazy valuable, but high demand. Here we go. Look at this. This is one that I saw in the picture. Carnage with all of his appendages. That's sweet right there. Love it. Fun fig. Even if it's not like insane value, it's good value and it's super cool. We've got a Minecraft skeleton. 
Usually I only sell parts of figs in my Bricklink store. Minecraft's an exception. If you're a Minecraft fan and you need Minecraft figs, come check out the store. I've got a bunch in there and that will be a full fig for sale. Uh, this is the CMF Spy right here with such cool parts. The uh, rope, the night goggles. This is on backwards, um, but CMF parts. I just recently got a CMF haul in and uh, put those CMF parts into my Bricklink store and like overnight, a whole bunch of them sold. So that makes me uh, think that maybe CMF parts are a good thing to stock in the store because people are looking for them. Look at this dinosaur, sick. I can never figure out whether I should be saving my dinosaurs for my dinosaur roller coaster mock or selling them. This haul has been off to a stellar start. Holy cow, look at this. The spotted, uh, the spotted ray. That's sweet too. Mercy, this is an outstanding lot so far. Where's this guy's hair? I hope it's in here somewhere. I can't remember this guy's name. He's from Ninjago. Um, such a cool fig. He's got, he feels very kind of video game ish and he's got the video game controller. Uh, um, super cool fig. He's got some, like some big ponytail white hair. Hopefully it's in here. Here is, uh, Tonway or something like that. The, uh, clone grower from Star Wars. Super good fig. Uh, that's not much of anything right there. Hey, look at this. Unfortunately missing the clothing, but there is the series 15 queen right there. Sweet pieces for sure. Too bad there's no clothing. Here's Man Bat. Uh, Man Bat does a little bit better at Halloween, but you know, for whatever reason, Lego way overproduced Man Bat. So he's not super popular. I don't know what this is. <clears throat> Is that Joey from Friends? Is this a Stranger Figs thing? I'm rooting for Stranger Stranger Things because uh, Joey is not super expensive, but Stranger Things is crazy expensive. Let me know in the comments, what is this thing right here? And if your answer is not Stranger Things, then just write Stranger Things and make me feel better. <laughs> uh, how about uh, some Nexo Knights? My goodness, these are figs are in fantastic condition. Holy cow. Here's another dinosaur. Well, I have absolutely no regrets on buying this lot already, and we're only like, you know, part of the way through part one. Uh, and we paid, I can't remember, what did I say? $1.50, $1.75 per fig, something like that. Here is uh, Nick Fury does not have the coattails. Too bad. The legs. If you don't know what I'm talking about, look it up. Uh, there is Dr. O'Neill, Dr. Mutated O'Neill, something like that. Uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. What is this? Come on. Oh, I was like, come on. No, come on. This is awesome. Look at this. Dude, is there any chance? No chance, right? No chance. No way. No way. What? How do you know? Oh, that's, that's like, that's chrome between the legs. No way. The chrome is a little rubbed off on the hands. It's blocked open. No way. Absolutely. Look at it. It's chromed under the arms. No way. <laughs> no way. There's no way. It's printed, right? There's no way that's right. It's cool, though. That's a cool fig, if nothing else, but that's not real. I'm not even getting my hopes up. Uh, there's a fireman. Here is a fun motorcycle. We've got a criminal. All right, we're going downhill a little bit now. Uh, there is a Lando Calrissian head right there. Reddish brown heads are hard to come by and uh, cost good money on Bricklink for sure. So always glad to find reddish brown heads. Here is a wrong hair, but there's a uh, Ray from Star Wars. Here's an old Kenobi right here. Good parts. Don't underestimate the value of capes, guys. Here's a Venom with some uh, with some stuff. Venom and Carnage both have appendages. That's fun. Wow, we are we are crushing this one. This I think is a Harry Potter hat of some kind. It's a cool piece. Even if that doesn't, you don't put that on a Harry Potter just for mocks and stuff. That's super cool. Fireman. Uh, here is a mix, I believe. This is some Marvel. I don't know, Aim Agent or something. And then uh, some parts and pieces of uh, Star Wars Resistance helmet. And I actually sell these helmets and this little stupid piece that. I don't know why Lego made this detachable, but it always gets lost, and so people need them to finish off figs. So I'll have another one, because I sell those regularly. That's a crazy weapon right there. Here is, uh, I don't even know, a mix of stuff. I think that's Ninjago. Maybe that's Star Wars. I'm not 100% sure on that. 
Uh, we have got some more Minecraft stuff there. We've got some ponytails. I think this is a Pirates of the Caribbean pirate guy. Man, he's cool. He's got, ooh, dude, speaking of sleeper things that are expensive, holy smokes. These little, uh, what do you call these things? I don't know, little sword pouches or whatever they're called. Look those up on Bricklink. Oh my gosh. The dark brown, I think, and the black. Just insane expensive, like three or four bucks a piece for those things. And I've actually sold some, so I'm not even like just saying I post them for that price. Holy cow, they're crazy expensive. There's some Star Wars, uh, I can't remember his name. I think that's from the, the uh, episode seven Falcon. Here's a Lloyd. Again, I don't know my Ninjago well enough to know what's good. Police officer, friend. The heck is that? Is this a newer Bruce Banner? It, the, the green eyes make me think, you know, he's turning into the Hulk or whatever. But I've never seen this one before. It must be a newer one, maybe. Well, maybe that's headed for my wall. I haven't seen that one before. That must, that must be Bruce Banner, right? Here's a uh, Doc Ock. Doc Ock is a good fig as well. Here is um, no clue. No clue what that is. Uh, Jurassic World, maybe? I don't know. Uh, here's another Nick Fury. Man, I think we did great on part one here. I can't tell what's under here. Anything good? Nah, not really. I think that's a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles torso, maybe. Uh, always glad. Is this the hover tank pilot? I don't know, but good parts there for sure. Not a standard first order. So that's good news. Hey, look at this. Whoa, I don't know if I've ever found one of these in the wild before. I have had this guy when I bought him directly from Bricklink, and then I got him with the uh, Daily Bugle set, I think, right? But Daredevil, whoa, that's a sweet find right there. I think that's the first one ever in the wild I've found. Here is, uh, I think that's a Harry Potter fig of some kind. Uh, this guy is the Sentry uh, from, you know, Age of Ultron. This helmet is a good helmet. If nothing else, the other pizza pieces are fairly common unless you're army building, but that helmet's a nice little piece right there. Here's another Lloyd. Here is a Sebastian from Disney. That's a fun one as well. Uh, people that are Disney fanatics may be looking for a Sebastian. There's actually a couple different Sebastians, I think, based on like his eyes, but I can't remember. The print on the eyes is a little bit different. There's a Thor. All right, let's see. What else do we got here? Some Minecraft, some random. I think this is like a grandpa torso or grandpa sweater or whatever. Uh, here's another Ray. Love these masks. Might have to save this for the Islanders uh, exhibit as well because that's super fun. Here is a Mysterio. Let's go with the uh, trans blue or satin blue or whatever. That's a nice piece right there. Uh, love that. Glad to find that. Here is a maiden dress. Oh, here seems to be the rest of maiden here. We'll put her right there. That's a fun fig for castle fans. Uh, this, is this Jonah? I think this is Jonah. Is this from the Daily Bugle? It might be. I'm not sure. I mean, that would make sense, right? And I already got the daredevil, so that might be Jonah. I just threw something on the ground. A little friend's marker or something. Uh, I can never remember what these guys are. Not overly valuable, um, but, you know, here's another one. Uh, parts and pieces, for sure, for the Bricklink store. Uh, here is, this is probably Hux. I would assume this is Hux based on these sideburns. Uh, these hats, again, you know, that's not, I don't think that's the super valuable hat, but any hat that kind of resembles that does pretty well. Here's another one of these. Hero Factory? Are these things Hero Factory? Maybe that's what the H is. I think those are Hero Factory. Where's your legs, buddy? You need some legs. Woo, I think we did well on this. Ah, the fake Lord of the Rings fig. Literally every time I find this fig, I'm like, sweet, Lord of the Rings. No, Harry Potter. But still really good parts for fantasy stuff. Like the beard is awesome. These, this color, this olive green is great. This just, this just screams fantasy for sure. So that's super cool to find. Uh, here is some Batman wings. I think that's from maybe Arctic Batman or something. Uh, I don't know, random fig. Here's a Lloyd right here. Is this a $5 billion Lloyd? I don't know. Some Ninjago figs are $5 billion and some are $2 and I never know which one's which. Here's a Mando helmet. Always glad to find Star Wars helmet. Hey, look at this. Spider pig. Let's go. Man, this is also from the Daily Bugle. Holy moly. I didn't have any idea 
that daily bugle figs were in here. That's awesome. There's a fireman. Uh, this has got to be Aunt May, right? It's got to be. Got to be Aunt May. Man, we are crushing part one. I think this guy is what goes to that mask. Uh, he's probably not going to end up in the Islander display, so his parts will probably end up on Bricklink, but that mask we may save. Ooh, look at how fun is this. The Yeti. He's a little dirty. Needs some cleaning. Uh, but the Yeti is such a cool CMF. He's got an unusual colored popsicle accessory that's kind of hard to find. Here's one of those legs for that Hero Factory thing. I think that is uh, another Harry Potter fig, but again, I don't Harry Potter. Some accessories here. Let's see if we can find anything else. Man, we only did 120 for this, guys. We Oh, jeez, this Kenobi. This Kenobi's got good parts. He belongs over here. I threw some stuff over here. I don't even know why. Uh, a criminal. We've got, look at this guy. How fun is that hat backwards? Usually hats on backwards kind of cover up the eyes and look weird. I guess Lego redesigned the hat so that it can be worn backwards. That's interesting. The red brick. I don't know if I have the red brick in my personal collection. Here's some good Star Wars parts. Here is uh, a Vader. There's so many Vader types, I can't tell you which one's which off the top of my head. But always glad to get Star Wars parts and Vader parts specifically. Uh, this poor guy's face is beat. But other than that, you know, we've got a police officer. Here's a little cute uh, baby dolphin. That's fun. I believe this is another Harry Potter fig. We have got uh, Captain America. We've got another Nexo Knight. And uh, anything else of note before we end part one here? I think this is a Zane, right? So that should be it for part one. 120 bucks for that? I think that's pretty good, guys. I think that's pretty good. <clears throat> Jeez, oh, Pete's. This is, I'm just assuming this is a really, really good fake. Because I don't know anything about Mr. Gold. But <clears throat> how cool is that? That's a beauty. Uh, we will absolutely, I mean, I don't normally do fakes. But we'll probably put that one on the wall as a tribute to Mr. Gold. Um, let's carefully take this off and take a look. I mean, it says Lego. And it's even like, this. whoever did this did an excellent job on this like a really excellent job uh look at that every piece inside like wow that was good stuff all right we're on to part two part one i think was a big success that was a score thanks for being here guys see you tomorrow for part two